Meghan Markle here. Okay, today is June 16, 2024. It is 3.43 a.m. I think today. Okay, so let's see here. Today I might have only two recordings. This I'll leave it for another day. Okay, I'm going to do these five. Yeah, is it five or four? One, two, three, four, five. Five. And then later on I'll do another video for PYTE and this. That I'm not going to touch them tonight because... um i'm not gonna have time we're gonna do some more stuff later today yeah let me focus on these so before i do that let's let me grab the link first and then all uh, right so go on my back end okay so this is the back end 4292 subscribers new subscribers welcome estimate revenue 158 dollars and 92 cents i was reading some comments on the day's video um someone said i should get a it person to look in the back end and to analyze it i don't know i don't know once i get the urge to fight it then i'll do what needs to be done right now i don't know why i just feel like for now let me just show the back end and then depend on uh, i really don't know i really don't know i read the comments at some point i don't know I really don't know but the urge to go to court and do this do that I don't know I, I'm not feeling it yet once I feel it I know I think I will know what I need to do but for now I'm just doing this like that I just show the back end okay analytics 2341 views in the last 48 hours the thing is that when you have that feeling to fight you have your energy to fight You'll do what needs to be done. Okay? I need to get to the point where I say F it. Alright, so let's go on Twitter. This, oh my God, this one, I'm not even going to talk about this. I was watching it a few minutes ago. So there's this here. Now, that person, I wish to not name, is okay. She's there for her kids. She's alive and everything. So I felt like I need to remind people a couple things. Okay? So this is why I'm doing this video to show you these five tweets. Okay, no name, no acknowledgement, no pictures. There'll be a time to discuss the obvious force, but for the next few days, there's a reason we mute. All right, so she retweeted this person. I have had to mute some accounts. Some seem to think that as that day is over, they can post photos about that day, her outfit, analysis, her face, for DV, there is nothing wrong with her except laziness and trying to garner sympathy. Okay? So, for me, before I was trying to be cautious, okay? I'm not going to name the name. I was trying to be cautious just in case because of the kids. I truly feel for the kids because they are innocent in all this mess. Until they are adults age. When you look at, for instance, um, Trump's son with Melanie, uh, Melania. And uh, before he was, before he turned 18, people respect that. And he was a private citizen and all of that. So the MAGA group tried to bring him into the public sphere. The mother said no, even though he is 18. The mother said no, keep him as private citizen. Don't get him into all this mess and all of that. This I agree with her 100%. One of the things that I said after Trump got in office, and I was like, Marla Maple, she probably advised her daughter to stay out of her father's uh, business because she probably knows what Trump is all about. Because once you run for office, 
all eyes are on you and uh, the government will look into all sort of things and i knew it was a big mistake for trump to run for office but then again his bases were covered so he thought he got everything under control and uh we not the u.s is not out, out of the woods yet because there he is he's not in jail and he's still running for office so we don't know but the whole point is tiffany trump's daughter is the only member well beside baron trump of Trump's family who's not in legal issues with the government. So her mother probably advised her, just stay away. Okay, it's okay to go visit your dad, go an event, but don't get involved into, you know, getting position or things like that because things will burst out. And I think the mother probably advised her. And I think uh, Melan Melania is doing the same thing with Barron. Don't get involved. Okay? So he's a private citizen. I have nothing to say about him. But once he starts talking about nonsense regarding politics, and so, then it's, it's going to be my business. Because the nonsense that he probably would have be spewing out there for the world to see, then that would be my business to say, okay, I disagree with this. I'd, right now, he's a private citizen. We're not going to talk about him, <laughs> even though I mentioned it here. So the same thing with the kids. They are innocent. They have no say of any of the thing that's happening. But my concern at that time were for the well-being of the kids so they could have a mother. Nobody should be growing up without a parent. But they decide to play games. So now that we know, luckily, I usually say allegedly that, in my humble opinion, this and that, plus the corner of my screen have that, the abbreviation of in my opinion kind of thing. Okay? So they're playing with people's emotion. This is on full display. Playing with people's emotion to garner sympathy. Okay? And laziness, like this person is saying here. Okay? It's just not fair. It's just not fair. It's the one replying to the rangers that annoy me the most. It brings all the rubbish to our timeline. I agree. Well, there's one person. Uh, I think it was the Nachos uh, gem thing. And they were laughing about it. And I, I literally responded and then black. And I was like, well, it got your attention. Here you are responding under that. And I believe the person even uh, said the number of posts that making reference to the gym. I was like, oh, so it did its job. There you are talking about it. At that time, I, I, you know, I had just turned on my uh, phone to see what's going on on Twitter. We were driving. And I was like, oh, so there's two posts about it. And then later on, there's more than that. But I was like, okay, there you are. You're talking about it. It literally did the job. Because there you are talking about it. So I did respond to that and then black. I agree. At this point, it's a straight up black for me. I've had it with the foolishness. It's like we don't know why we are here. That's another thing here. I think she wanted a day off, but that lasted six months. I guess she will go back into hibernation again. All right, me too. There's the thumbs up. Likewise, I occasionally read people wondering why I've blacked them. It's it's probably because I don't want to see or hear about anyone from that family. Okay, so there's that. So pretty much this tweet was making reference to squaddies who kept on talking about the appearance of the used to be missing person. So now that she reappeared, Many of the squads were reposting and retweeting about her. So this person, this tweet was making reference to that. Now that we know she's fine, she's alive and well, so we should just move on and mind our own business. And then that also applies to me as well. I know I read some of the comments in the comment section and I uh, throw shit back at the comment too. All right, so we should move on and focus on the Sussexes. But it's kind of hard because the Sussexes don't have that much content they're putting out and once they have their work completed they just do everything out and then um, all at once and then i have to keep up so we'll be ready once that happens all right so let's get back to the original recording and the next tweet so i thought this tweet will get us started or get into the topic so a couple past tweets, videos, you know, you see every now and then there's some comments making reference as if it is Harry and Meghan who name the two royal races. So this video is pretty much, this is to remind you 
who are the royal races and there's this person here i retweet this person this person got it right okay so let's go into it okay i truly believe that was back let's see here february 27 2024 all right. I truly believe all the secrecy around Kate Middleton's disappearance is just a way to rework her public persona because when she comes back, no one is going to remember Peace Morgan named her as the royal racist. Okay. So when I saw this tweet and I said, let me save it and let me put it on the list. I don't even think I follow this person. Nope. I don't follow this person. I don't. Not too many squaddies follow this person. Okay. So that's that. And there's no comment. So let's go to the next tweet. These are some old tweets and I'm bringing to light. Okay, so there it is here. So Charles and Kate Middleton named by Pierce Morgan. Okay, this is the only person who said it. I will never believe it, but now we can start the process of finding out if they ever got uttered, what the context was, and whether there was any racial intent at all. Like I say, I don't believe there was. The royals who are named in this book are King Charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales. And then in Omid's book, it was some sort of a sabotage because it was only in one language it was named. But every other language is none. Even Omid said he didn't do it. The book's available in a number of languages, and unfortunately, I can't speak Dutch, so I haven't seen the copy for myself. But if there have been any translation errors, I'm sure the publishers got it under control. For me, I edited and wrote the English version. There's never been a version that I've produced that has names in it. He didn't write that. Okay, so let's start all over. So Charles and Kate Middleton named by Pierce Morgan as the racist who said that, what if Archie will look black? Wow just wow just shows how racist the whole royal family still is and knew kate was evil there's the b word here never wanted the mixed race person and the royal family okay so this was posted when november 30th 2023 so that was around the time where peace morgan came with that video okay i, I don't know i do not think kate said it okay i don't think kate said it i truly believe they threw her under the bus for william i think it's william who said it because i don't see how this is her business because she married into the royal family and i don't think she has a say on this type of things i don't know maybe she does because they all are racist but um i truly believe it's the is the husband who said it and then they threw her under the bus for the husband you know who will clear this up it will be harry because uh harry will be the one who will say this is who said that this is that but harry is in a different level of uh i don't know mindset and his focus on his work he's not gonna be meddling into that okay so unless if it's said in court we will know hold up there's Stop several right now. there's several conversations there's a conversation with you with harry about how dark your baby is going to be potentially and what that would mean or look like Ooh. that conversation <laughs> i'm never going to share um but at the time at the time it was awkward i was a bit shocked um can you, can you tell us what the question was no i don't i'm not comfortable sharing that okay all right so there's this uh, from international business time uk king charles iii kate middleton or the racist royal name and endgame book for me i edited and wrote the english version there's never been a version that i've produced that has names in it pierce morgan name dropped the two senior royals on his uncensored tv show following the book's release on november 28th the royals who are named in this book are king charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales. Okay, so they make it seems like Omid said it. Okay, so the whole thing sort of start. Let, let, let's move back a little bit. In the Oprah interview, so there was some discussion between Harry and his family. Okay, Harry and his family. Hold up, hold up. There's Stop several right now. There are several conversations. There's a conversation it. with you, with Harry, 
about how dark your baby is going to be? Potentially, and what that would mean or look like. About Archie's skin color. Okay? So that got, you know, in the old point of view, Heavy and Megan did not name the name. That conversation <laughs> I'm never going to share. Um, but at the time, at the time it was awkward. I was a bit shocked. Um, so what happened here now, when Omid wrote his book, I, I, I literally borrowed a book from the library. I had it for months. I just never had time to read it. Eventually, I just return it just in case somebody else wants to borrow it. And I keep on asking. Anybody's asking for it? They say no. And I keep renewing it. I never had the time to read it. Every time that I have, either I sit watching a little TV, I fall asleep. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, if I had read it, I would have known which part in the book they mention it. Because from what I've known, and then the author himself said, he did not write the name of Royal Races in his book. There's never been a version that I've produced that has names in it. But for some reason, in one language, which Omid said he does not speak. The book's available in a number of languages, and unfortunately I can't speak Dutch, so I haven't seen the copy for myself. Okay. The translation have a portion of it where it says the name of the royal races. I never heard anything ab about that. If Omid sued, if any legal action took place, because it was in one language, one translated language that it was mentioned. Now, if uh, Pierce Morgan doesn't speak that language, I don't know if he does because he never said he did or he didn't. How does he know that was in the book? So someone sabotaged the book or deliberately insert the part that Omid said he didn't do. For me, I edited and wrote the English version. There's never been a version that I've produced that has names in it. To put it there, to create, to stir some issues. Other languages don't have the names of the royal races. The next one is, the next person who mentioned it, was Pierce Morgan. He was the only person who said the royal races. Omid did not say it. Harry and Meghan did not say it. Only Pierce Morgan. And then in that translation portion. And I really feel bad for the translator of that, uh, of that language because all he or she, the translator, had to do was translate whatever was in front of him or her. So whoever inserted it, you know, I really don't think it's the translator's fault because he just had or she had to read what was in front of her. Whatever the manuscript or the the book says. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so there's no comment here. Let's go to the next one. So that was the headline. Okay, so they're trying for people to forget all about that. The nonsense that they create. Okay, no name. Oh, did I put it twice? I guess I did. So I'm not going to... Yeah, I put it twice, so I'm not going to talk about that again. Next one, I guess somebody responded. I don't want to put her pictures on my thing. Next one. Safe to say, Will Lewis... Okay, so I'm done with the royal races. Okay? So this is another one, and that's my last one. Safe to say, Will Lewis days at Washington Post are numbered. Okay? New York Times. Breaking news. The Washington Post publisher and its incoming top editor use fraudulent obtained records and past rules in the UK. Our investigation shows. So this was yesterday, June 15. They're still talking about it. And this is one of the people who's named or in some legal document that Harry is pursuing with the papers in the UK. Okay? So... The U.S. is not letting this go. Okay, Will Lewis, the Post publisher, assigned one of the articles in question in 2004 as Business Insider of the Sunday Times. Another was written by Robert Wennett, who Mr. Lewis recently announced as Post's next executive editor. Oh my God, they're flooding the U.S. with their, those people. 
okay he's going to be the news forever more and more stories about his deeds will keep coming out he and his cronies can be dumb enough to think the u.s media will ever back away from digging into his and their past there's that here good riddance but the thing is that this is the thing where the people have the people the citizen of the u.s have to keep these people in check is to vote if we let trump in we see back in 2020 how many people he had in his bases okay the same way as the u.s um as the uk where i said they have the recycle system trump had that too trump had it too but the thing is that the slight difference is that some of them will not when the when the 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 plan starting to crack up some of them cannot continue with their posts because they know the you know the punishment will be severe okay so if we don't vote and pay attention to politics I'm not saying there's some people who can't really handle all the nonsense that's going on in the politics. But when it's time to vote, do a small research, dedicate a time, or at least a week, I don't know. Maybe a day, focus on that. Who's running for what office, do a quick research. I do that sometimes. Okay, recently there was primaries for the, num you know, leading to the November election. Okay, there's some of the people that I saw. Okay, there's one I used to vote for. And I realized that he's doing some BS thing in Washington. And I was like, nope, I'm not voting for him anymore. And his son is running now. I said, no. So I did a little, a little bit research of the new faces that I'm not aware of. And I find one that I think is pretty good. Because he's been doing some community work before. I went and vote for him. I don't, did I? I'm not sure if he made it, but uh, come election in November, I'll look again who are the winners from what I we just did here. It was like two weeks ago. Okay, and do a small research about the names that on the ballot. Okay, so they didn't want to do the thing for uh, for Trump. Some of them had to crack up. You see the how many people ever and there's some who still keeping the narrative going. Okay, <laughs> look at, uh, uh, what's his name? Rudy Giuliani, for instance. He's in deep, deep trouble. New York Times about to get the Pulitzer, there's the crime here, of the Washington Post. I hope so. This is a different response. Okay, I hope so, but I'm not sure. Maybe his boss approves. That's an ad. Tweeted above, I am studying the exit clock. I bet he'll be gone by 9 a.m. Monday morning. <laughs> let's just hope to and then people need to start well people and i guess the the uh, journalists should start looking into who those uh, papers are hiring to take those positions and then write about them and also we have to give heavy credit for keeping up because if it wasn't for him this will never show up because well they into his business but the main thing is he's continuing pursuing in the uk all right the murder groups you know the whole bunch of uh liars uh newspapers who doing unethical things to get a little scoop here and there about people to terrorize them so if it wasn't for harry continuing pursuing it we w this will never come to light in the u.s how long has uh was it lewis was in that position all right so that's that okay so that's all for this video and i just want to remind people now that the face is back out who were the racists in that royal family they took a break pretending that you know when they come back everything will be all right okay they all are baggage for god for manipulating the cancer thing and all of that because there are people who's really going through some hard thing but meanwhile these people are using it for their own whatever it is that that goes in in their minds it's really disgusting what they just did here and i hope people call them out on it as well okay so they all are baggage for god that's it for this video please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you're not support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you or you could go on my shop and check to see if you like some of the merch that i have there okay thank you for your support
privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better.